Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Right Kage Yosuke, and I'm coming at you with another fire. Naruto to Baruto, Shinobi Striker video. And today, boys, I'm bringing you something special. It's that new type of fire, that Amaterasu. Because today, boys, I'm finally bringing you guys a guide on how to get better as Shinobi Striker. Truly teach you how to become a true god of shinobi so please stay in tune and without further ado make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the video drop a like on this video and i love y'all Kicking this video off with tip number one, we will be talking about practice. And I see a lot of new players jumping out there. They just pick skills that look cool, or they just pick skills they may have seen from a video or something. And they don't truly understand how to combo or how the skills exactly work. And I just want to say that practice is a very great way to figure things out about your skills about timing and the reload times and what they can counter, what they can't counter. And this is a very great place to do so. I think practice mode is highly underrated. I know that you're fighting just NPCs, but truth be told, some of the NPCs are better than regular players. Let's, let's, let's be real here, you feel me? <laughs> but nah, all, all seriousness, all seriousness. Practice mode is something that a lot of people should really get out here and utilize because you can also practice with friends. So you can grab a group of friends, maybe one other friend. And you guys can really go down and practice skills or practice combos or practice resets or movement. It's also another good place to practice your movement. So... Make sure you guys get out there and use the practice mode. And you'll see yourself get get this that much better at becoming a god of shinobi. Alright, and for our next tip, we're going to be going back to the pit. And for our next tip, we're going to be talking about combat. That's right combat there's a lot of things to talk about when it comes to combat now right here in the background i'm just gonna have some gameplay playing for you in the pit i'm just gonna look, just kind of point out a few things and just show you guys what i mean about those things and try to kind of give you an, a nice explanation of what i mean when it comes to combat practicing combat Understanding uh, understanding each class and what their bonuses are and what they can or cannot defend against. Uh, understanding ninja tool times and understanding, you know, your movements as you can see right here uh, in combat movement and outside of combat movement is different. They're two different things. Now, each category of combat could actually have its own entire video, but for the sake of time's sake, this is going to be a decent video, it's a pretty long one. We're going to be just breaking down a little few, you know, just kind of halfing it, halfing it on the uh, combat explanation. Now, as you can see here, I got some swift little dodges going there on the screen, and that is the dodge portion of combat or what I would like to call in combat movement okay because there is multiple ways to dodge you can use your cancel dodges you can dodge regularly you can jump dodge you can charge dodge and there's just a lot of ways to implement that into your combat now, also there's another part of combat is just 
combos missing and canceling and animation canceling ninjutsu canceling and comboing these things are very important especially at like a high level gameplay so if you're new to the game and you're just getting in you're seeing some guys just out here just moving like crazy they're moving like they really look like minato yellow flash you know what i'm saying these are the boys that learned animation canceling so that is something that's going to be highly important animation canceling like, help you do high level combos like you've seen like right there in that combo right there if i would have did it just a little bit more right it would have been even more clean so another part of the video that i want to talk to y'all about when it comes to combat is spacing and not necessarily running because a lot of people run and instead of understanding that they have enough time and space to still get these ninjutsus and attacks off you know so don't be fearful just like any other fighting game Naruto to Baruto, Shinobi Striker has a lot of spacing and framing and all of these things coming in play. So truly understanding that. And as you can see there, like you see, I, I had enough to dodge that. And being able to play and dodge these skills like this allows you to just fight more opponents at once, fight higher level opponents. So combat this also ties in to our other tip going into the practice mode and just practicing your combat not only with your buddies or with the npcs just alone just practicing the weapons that you may unlock or practicing the way that you want to actually learn how to play or maybe there's a certain weapon combo that you want to learn practice combat Combat is very important in this game. It's not just about running and ninja to spamming, which is a lot of people's favorite thing to do. So let's practice some combat. Let's get better. Let's do this. Let's get on to the next tip. We don't want to be sitting here too long. But combat, baby. Okay, so coming in with tip number three, we're going to be talking about understanding your build and how to make a build because i know within naruto to baruto shinobi striker there's a lot of skills a lot of jutsu or whatever you want to call it a lot of substitutes a lot of ultimates and each one of these things could really take their time to kind of fully understand so i just kind of want to give you guys a little basic guide on how you should be kind of looking at your builds and how you should be kind of building your character in the sense of what you're about to do what game mode whether it be survival or teams so i'm just going to be kind of going over a build the little mini quick build video and just show you guys my thought process of how I put things together and what it looks like when it's all put together and how it all comes out together. So, without further ado, we're going to be starting off with our weapon. And this is not highly important. It just depends on the combos you like. And then we have our ninja tool. Now, this is the first tip. I want you guys to start to kind of think about so your ninja tool plays a role in what the rest of your build is going to be doing so we're using the paper bomb kunai and the paper bomb kunai does pretty good damage but then our first shinobi boost is going to be all geared up which boosts our shinobi damage i mean our ninja tool damage excuse me so Giving that, we have a Paper Bomb Kunai that does a substantial amount of damage now. And we also are rocking Clear Mind, which allows us to get our Ninja to back faster. And then Unbending Will, when our health is lower, we get our Ninja to back even faster. So you see, we have a kind of double Clear Mind. I know that that's really cheese out here, but it 
for this build is you'll see. So for our first ninjutsu, we're going to be rocking shadow stitching, which keeps our enemies debuffed. Since we're not rocking spiteful spirit, this is why we want the clear mind so that we can keep the enemies that we're fighting debuffed. And then border gel is just our damage jutsu, and it's also a mini range jutsu. You can use this jutsu to kind of summon the shadows from a little range, from a nice distance, and it can kind of surprise attack people. So in conjunction with the lower defense and the paper bomb kunai, that combo put all the way together is actually very devastating. I have a video, if you want to check that out, link down in the description, you feel me? Go check the channel out, you can find this video, there you go. And for our clone, we're just going to be using the multi shadow clone. It's two substitutes, you know, you get three guys that kind of rush at the opponent, not that special, but it's useful. For our ultimate, we're going to be using something that heals us, but also does damage to the opponents. So that is how we're going to be healing in this build, is by utilizing our ultimate, the 100 healing jutsu. So as you can see now, we have very high offensive, we have a pretty good decent heal, and it's still offensive for our ultimate, and then our build allows us to just stay in the fight and stay on top of debuffing and combos. So this is just something I wanted to point out to you all that making a build is just, in a sense, putting everything together that really works and that builds out that fluidity in whatever mode you're trying to do. This is a combat healer, as you can see, combatty and very healy. So thank you very much. I just wanted to really show y'all how to get those bills put together. That's that. Oh, no. Back up off me, big dog. Uh, you don't know nothing about me. You don't know nothing about me. I got a squad with you, big dog. Look. Back, 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 that's right. For our next tip, you guessed it, it's going to be teamwork. Practicing on how to learn how to be a good teammate. I know, I know the community can be super toxic sometimes. But if you can get over that, maybe find a group of friends that you could band together with and just utilizing teamwork will help you win so many games trust me boys learning how to play with your team learning how to play your role properly so that you can boost your team to the top of the rankings teamwork communication is the way to go so even if you're solo practice working with your team i know a lot of people are new to the game and you don't have any friends or anything like that, I got a Discord link down in below if you're looking for some players to play with. So go ahead and hit that up. You have some people on there that will gladly come and link up with you guys. But teamwork is the way to go, especially in the objective game modes, not only combat battle, but teamwork is very, very useful. So please make sure you guys Practice and utilize teamwork. These things truly will help you become a god of Shinobi and Shinobi Striker. I'm telling you, I've done it. I do it. And this is how I practice. This is what I do when I get on. This is what I think about when I'm playing with my team. Is all of these things, all of these tips. And for our final, final tip is to just have fun, boys. Because I tell you what, through it all, if it's just not working out, just still can't get these wins, man. Just enjoy your matches. Have fun. Don't let these dudes, don't let the toxic, don't let the tea bags, don't let it get to you. As soon as you're having fun, man, trust me, you just straight up kamoi that stuff. You feel me, boys? 
So that's what you're going to want to do, man. Those are my five tips that will help you become a goddess shinobi. Please, please, for me, drop a like on this video so you just show your boy some love. Just show me some love. I appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on another video from the Raikage. You feel me, boys? I'm going to go ahead and check out here. Thank y'all very much. And work on these things and become a god of Shinobi so we can have some great gameplay. Thank you. I'm out. And I love y'all. Peace. Just fucking around and shit. I didn't want to kick nobody because it's not fun. You're over there. I trust that. You're over there. Then. I know he's sad. I know he's sad, bro. Because of the um. The sis we all. All I did yeah. was run up and hit him, and he subbed off the point. Sub it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything you get sub, any damage sub, sub, sub. No, that's not a real TTV, bro. <laughs>